Welcome to our channel, Daughters of Sheba Foundation for Everything Woman. This is where we empower you to live your best life. And this is our Mind and Maturity program, Mind Wellness for Women 40 Plus. Did you know that one in five women over 40 face significant mental health challenges? That's right, 20% of us, and I'm including myself, 20% of us are dealing with issues like depression and anxiety. And guess what? This rate is higher than our male counterparts, yes. So today we're talking about something incredibly important, your mental health. Specifically, we'll explore habits that can boost your well-being if you're a woman over 40. Ready to feel better and live your best life? Well, come with me. Let's chat. Sit on my bed. Habits. Let's talk about habits. We all have them, good and bad ones. Habits. And we use this word loosely all the time. But what exactly is a habit? According to the Oxford Dictionary, a habit is a settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. The bad ones, those bad habits that we tend to have, do have a negative effect a lot of times on our well-being, on our overall well, overall well-being. These bad habits most times tend to have a negative effect on us. Let's talk about some of those bad habits my friend and co-director of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation just mentioned. Let's talk about how we break some of those bad habits that we have and improve our mental health. First up, let's talk about exercise. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, not another person telling me to work out and I don't work out really. But hear me out. Exercise isn't just about losing weight or looking good. It's a powerful tool for improving your mood and reducing stress. You don't need to run marathons or lift heavy weights. Even a 30 minute walk each day can make a huge difference. Try dancing in your living room, taking a yoga class or even gardening. Look at my beautiful garden. <laughs> the key is to find something you enjoy so it doesn't feel like a chore. Next, let's talk about mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply being present in the moment. It can help reduce anxiety and improve overall well-being. You can start with just five minutes. That's all I do. Start with just five minutes a day of quiet reflection. Find a comfortable spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breathing. You can also try mindfulness while doing everyday tasks. I practice what um, the Bible says, to be always, always praying. Ceaseless praying. That's the word I was looking for, ceaseless praying. Okay? So if your mind wanders, bring it back gently. Bring it back to um, whatever it is that you're focusing on. For example, when you're washing dishes, focus on the sensation of the water and the smell of the soap. Yep, do that. Try it and let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's move on to social connections. As we get older, it's easy to become isolated, especially if you're busy with work or family. But maintaining strong social connections is crucial to our mental health. Make an effort to reach out to your friends and family if you don't live with them regularly. Schedule coffee dates, phone calls, or video chats. Consider joining a book club, a walking group, or a hobby class to meet new people. Remember, quality is more important than quantity when it comes to relationships. Now, hey, let's talk about sleep. That's the one where I totally am um, not in a good place with. Getting enough quality sleep is essential for good mental health. 
aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. Once you get to our age, over 40, women over 40, create a relaxing bedtime routine. This might include reading a book, taking a warm bath, or doing some gentle stretches. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time each day. I definitely wake up at the same time each day, three o'clock in the morning, but try to wake up at a reasonable hour each day at the same time, even on the weekends. Avoid screens for at least an hour before bed. And this is, I don't know how you YouTube bloggers are going to do this, but avoid screens for at least an hour before bed as the blue light can disturb your sleep. Another important thing once we become women over 40 in terms of our habits is um, healthy eating. What we eat can have a big impact on our mood and energy levels. Focus on eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Include stuff like lean proteins and healthy fats in your diet. Try to limit processed foods, sugar, and alcohol. Remember, it's not about being perfect. This is however many videos I'm doing, and I've said to you, it's not about perfection. It's about making small, sustainable changes. Now, let's discuss the power of learning new things. Challenging your brain is the best thing we can do. When we challenge our brains with new activities, we boost our mood and our cognitive function. Try learning a new language, picking up a musical instrument, or even taking an online course. It doesn't matter what you choose as long as it's something that interests you. I keep stressing that, interests you. The acts of learning and progressing can be incredibly rewarding. No. I talk about this every Saturday on our Facebook. Self-care. It is so important. Self-care isn't selfish. It is necessary for good mental health. It's a habit we must take up and in practice. Self-care. This might mean a relaxing bath, reading a good book, or getting a massage. It could also be saying no to commitments that drain you. Remember, you can't from an empty cup. Taking care of yourself allows you to take better care of others. Let's not forget the one more thing, the power of gratitude. Taking time each day, maybe while you're meditating those five minutes, taking time each day to appreciate the good things in your life can significantly improve your mood. Yes, I'm going to talk about using a gratitude journal each day, write down things that you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be the delicious smell of your morning coffee or the beautiful sunset. This practice can help shift your focus from what's wrong in your life to what's right in it. Lastly, let's talk about seeking professional help when needed. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, we need extra support. There's absolutely no shame in talking to a therapist or a counselor. They provide tools and strategies tailored to suit all our needs. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. So My mental health has improved significantly since I've accurately and confidently identified and accepted my bad habits. Having a great social community, a great community of friends have really helped me a lot with my mental well-being. They are true, true treasures. There you have it, ladies. These habits can make a real difference to your mental health. I practice them myself every day and I'm almost 60. Remember, it's not about perfection. It's about progress. Start small. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your victories, no matter how small. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who might benefit. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on living your best life after 40. Until next time, take care of yourself, beautiful.